Hi everyone, it's Donna Maria and welcome to lesson seven of your Indie Business University success path. This week we are talking about knowing the laws and the regulatory structures that affect your business. And there are basically three large categories when it comes to this issue. The first category is your state, your municipal, and your federal laws and regulations that affect all businesses. And the second category is your state, your municipal, and your federal regulations and laws that affect your industry in particular. Now, there's a third category that we're going to get to next month, and that has to do with setting up the protection of your intellectual property. Any patents, trademarks, and copyrights that you have. But we're going to get to that later. Right now, we're talking about business structure and your industry. So the first thing you want to make sure that you do is check to see if your business or any business of any kind is regulated in your local area, like your municipality or your county. And if so, you wanna find out what those regulations are and comply with them. So for example, in my little city that I live in, um, there are requirements for home-based businesses to file an annual fee and registration, okay? I don't know what they do with that money, but I think it's like $79 a year. I can't even remember exactly what it is, but we pay it every year. But I didn't know about it for years. I ran my business out of the particular house that I'm in right now for years, and I didn't know about it. And so I found out about it, and then I was able to pay it. But I want you to make sure that you know what it is so that you can comply with that. And then with your state, there's going to be something similar. You're going to need to set up some sort of filing with your state to make sure that you are accounted for in your state for your business. And then you're going to want to make sure that you get through your state. Also, um, you know, if you file an LLC, if you file for a corporation, a sole proprietorship, whatever it is, every state is different. So what you want to do for both of those is you want to Google how to set up a business in such and such a county, how to set up a business in such and such a state. You'll find that counties and states have done a really good job of making it easy for you to register because it's part of the way they make money. So, you know, contrary to 10, 20 years ago when you had to, you know, find all this stuff manually, it's really, really easy to find now. So make sure you do that so you can set that up. And then from a federal perspective where your business is concerned, like once you take care of your state obligations, you obviously need to file some federal designation so that your business, regardless of how you set it up on the local level, is also accounted for on the federal level. So you want to get a tax ID. Now, the, you can sort through all this yourself. It's not that hard, but it does take some time. So what I suggest you do is get some help doing it. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that in a second. So we've talked about setting up a business and, and doing all the things that any business in your city or your county or your state has to do and, and federally as well. But then there's also the requirements that may apply to your specific industry. So in addition to the regular business requirements, you have may have some specific industry requirements. So for example, we all know that food is very heavily regulated at the state level, at the local level, and also at the federal level. So you need to know what those regulations are before you start you know, selling cakes and pies and cookies and cupcakes um, out of your home. What are those regulations? Does your state have a cottage industry law which allows you to sell a certain amount of products from a home-based home -based kitchen? Or do you need to have a registered kitchen to make the products that you sell? You need to find this stuff out and you should do it on the front end before you start rolling a business and you get down the road and your business is really cranking stuff out and you have to stop everything and figure out what the regulations are. So you want to make sure that you do that when you have the time on the front end. And also, remember too, that sometimes when you research this information, you may say, you know what, I don't want to go into this industry after all. Why? Because the regulations are just too extensive for me. I don't want to have to follow all those regulations. So I'm going to choose a different type of business. So there's lots of benefits to doing this research on the front end. Now to get help doing this, I'm going to give you three suggestions, really four. The first is your local small business administration office will be able to help you sort through all of this stuff inside your state and to some extent federally as well. The second thing I want you to look for, place I want you to go for help is your local chamber of commerce. There are attorneys and there are accountants in every local chamber of commerce. Get to know those people, let them find out the ones who serve small businesses like yours and get yourself some help, get some assistance. 
all attorneys know accountants and all accountants know attorneys. So you can, and sometimes they're one in the same because on, on occasion you can, you can lock up that way. But you wanna be able to get referrals from the attorney, referrals from the accountant to get professionals to help you set everything up properly make sure that you don't have to worry about this. And then the last thing I want you to do, but maybe the first actually is Google, just Google. Like Google is your friend when it comes to this stuff. What are the regulations for cosmetics? What are the regulations for massage therapists? What are the regulations that apply to uh, selling food and, and um, you know, packaged goods and things like that in, in, at the federal level and also in my state. You really need to pay attention to this and you might need some help. Like what we provide here through Indie Business University is mentoring that can help you, you know, ask the right questions. That's, that's really the biggest thing is to not just find the right answers, but to know which questions to ask. So while you're here, I want you to be thinking this through. And so here are your action steps for this week. Number one, I want you to find an accountant and an attorney who can help you with your business. And I prefer you find someone local, right? So you can meet them, you can get to know them. These people are gonna be in your business, they're gonna be in your money, they're gonna know about your finances. So these are people that you wanna know, like, and trust. And while there are some great options virtually, the best thing that you can do is find someone local. The next thing I want you to do is go to your local small business administration office and get whatever free and low cost help is available there. Um, go to sba.gov and search for your state and then search for the city closest to you and go visit. Like they always have free classes. Sometimes they have classes that cost very little, great articles and, and, and lots of things to be able to help you to do that. And then the third thing I want you to do is I want you to analyze the results that you get. Like, do you really, really like baking cookies and you really, really like to sell them and people love them, but you know, you just don't want to comply with the local law, the state law and a federal law. You don't want to have to figure all that stuff out. Well, it's good that you find that stuff out now. So you don't have, want to have, you don't have to deal with it down the road. You can figure it out now and invest your resources in something that you really, really want to be able to do. I'll tell you a quick little story. I read this in a Martha Stewart book some years ago. She used to work with, um, animals on one of her shows and there was a guy who was like a, a specialist I think in birds and he had this bird business up in New York and it was going really really great but then uh, this, the city of New York where his bird business was located um, passed a new regulation a city ordinance that prohibited the importation of certain types of birds into the city and like his entire business was decimated. So I want you to be thinking about this because while you can't always foresee things like that, there are usually some clues along the horizon to let you know that whatever industry you're thinking about going into is very heavily regulated or perhaps some new regulations are about to come down the pike. You can find all this out by doing some research on Google. If you don't want to be bothered with that, then you really need to choose an industry that doesn't have the type of rules and regulations that you feel will be an impediment or a burden to your success. You can find a different type of business that doesn't have the same types of issues and then you can move forward that way. So those are your action steps and I hope that you will take them so we can move forward to the next lesson. I look forward to seeing you then. Thanks everyone, have a great week, bye.